anybody you that are, knows me. You are. You are. I don't know how to react. Me, I'll pull your hair. Me. The Real Housewives of Lagos, episode 4. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dan Lola and I'm so happy to back here again with another content for you guys. If you're new to this particular channel, do want to subscribe, turn on post notifications, like the video, and drop a comment. particular episode started with the part where Yabo Ojo was so happy, excited to meet up with Choma because, I mean, they had a plan to teach Choma how to make Amala. Apparently, Amala Begiri and Iwedu is Choma's best delicacy, but she doesn't know how to make it. I mean, she's evil, so I can understand the fact that she doesn't know how to make Amala. So, Yabo Ojo taught her how to make Amala. Like, she practically did it in front of her face. It was theoretical. I think I learned one or two things too from Yabo Ojo because the fact that she sat down, you know, on that small stool and then she was turning the Amala, you know, it was actually very impressive of her. Now, after that, they decided to have a conversation about the ladies, about fate events, how boring, how hectic, how annoying, how stressful the event was, and they were so not happy about what fate did concerning the event. Um, yeah, body was like she she didn't like it at all like she didn't like the weather the fact that everywhere was hurt and the fact that she came very very late it wasn't really nice of fate to do that anyways i spoke about it in the last episode that fate did not actually do very nice by not coming on time for our event and then she didn't make the space comfortable for the ladies you know we know the ladies are full of luxury they like to be comfortable they like class and everything and fate was not giving them that if not for dr romeo that came to switch up everything it would have been a very boring party anyways Yabo just said she's going to have a staycation for the girls like they should um come and you know spend some time together for some three days or two days Chama was against it kind of because Chama said that she doesn't want to spend time with other ladies aside her and Tanya like she's cool with Yabo and um Tanya but any other ladies like she's not really mm -mm -mm. But Yabo just like it doesn't really matter now. let's just have fun for just a few days you know just a few days there's really nothing is going to take away from me just a few days okay so eventually Chama agreed but then Yabo just said she's not going to invite Laura to our events because in the time last year where Yabo just had a staycation like that and then she invited um Laura Laura was giving excuses even for Yabo just daughter's birthday party Laura came in spent five minutes ran out saying that her husband was downstairs and she was just lying actually she was lying i don't know why laura is doing that to your body i don't know why laura is not trying to show up for your body laura is not trying to be that cool friends with your body so i can understand why your body is not really cool with laura like that so your body said she's not going to invite laura to our event but choma is like ah, ah, how about okay i will invite laura so hmm after that we saw another scene where tanya and faith decided to meet up tanya decided to like invite faith for a meetup, they decided to like have a yoga session together. According to Tanya, she said she wanted to see how Faith rose, like just to get to know her because she feels that Faith is very quiet. She's just gathered, like she she doesn't really know much about Faith, so she wants to just get to know her. Out of all the girls, she's like, it's just only Faith that it's very hard for her to you know really tell who she is. So she said like meet up with her and hang out with her. And during their hangout, Tanya spoke about how fate events was how it was so boring how it wasn't really comfortable for the ladies how she came late and everything so fate apologized concerning that i don't even think fate has apologized to all the ladies so i'm sure they are still angry with that concerning that she needs to also apologize to all the ladies about what happened during her event but i don't think she did that all right so moving forward we saw another scene where laura and laura was at her place her family house and then she was receiving phone calls for her events coming up and everything and then she saw a she received a voice note from Choma. Choma invited her to Yabojo's event. And when she was done listening to the voice note, she said, I don't know why Yabojo cannot invite me herself. Like, why does it have to be Laura that will invite me to Yabojo's event? We all know why Yabojo doesn't want to invite Laura to our event. So, Laura, please, sleep. Sleep. All right, so after that scene, Choma and Tiana decided to meet up. R recall that Choma and Tiana, they're not really on a good note like that, like that. They have some issues on set with, even though... Tiana has apologized to Choma. Choma is not still satisfied with her apology. So decided to like meet up and talk. And hmm, at the beginning there was some tension. Everybody was quiet. Nobody wants to talk. But eventually Choma spoke out, telling Tiana that, see, you came from my event unannounced. Somebody invited you and just came in front of everybody who apologized to me. I don't think I was cool with that apology. You wronged me by trying to teach me a lesson, coming at me, you know, taking your move at me. I wasn't really comfortable with that. And Tiana said, I really 
apologize to you what else do you want you know so um before you know it they started dragging the matter and it was already resulting to another another bass was actually between tiana and Chama guys and though Chama apologized to um tiana with regards to something she said to tiana last year that led to tiana having her in her mind she said i'm sorry if i make mention of your son if i said some things to you i'm sorry but i feel like you need to also still apologize to me for what you did to me because you can't be apologizing in front of people and you think i'm going to be okay like we are talking one-on-one -on -one. tell me you're sorry though tiana did not say sorry still tiana feels that choma said some things had some very terrible opinions about her that she is not correct so she's not going to say sorry and if choma should try to do anything that would make her angry she can also still take that same move she took last year during their reunion so that means the tension is still there between Choma and tiana we are still going to see another basket between those two right now let's go straight to iabojo's staycation iabojo had a staycation at ekbe resort i've never been there before but trust me i would like to be there i would like to experience you know that place i would like to actually have fun i want to have a girl's hangout i want to chill i want to have fun i want to vibe i want to go to that kind of place and enjoy myself but you know oh the coco my little all the places in that place were actually looking so nice so good so beautiful she got on a call with Choma and Tanya. They were also on their way coming to the staycation and they were so happy to see Yabojo. Yabojo was so happy to see them, expecting them to come. Also, Faith and Tiana too came together. Then Miriam came. So, um, when Yabojo saw Tanya and Choma, she was so excited. She was so happy. She hugged the both of them. I feel like, I feel like Tanya and Yabojo are going to get along. Forget the fact that Tanya gives this Caroline vibe because of her color, you know, I feel like Yabojo and Tanya will get along. Then um, Yabojo had to show them to their rooms. Then we saw Tiana and Faith came in. Yabojo, of course, hugged <laughs> Tiana. She didn't hug Faith. I can understand. They are still getting to know each other. She does not really know Faith like that. But she does not really know Tanya too like that. But she hugged Tanya. Well, we shall get to see what's going to happen eventually. Then Miriam came with some champagne. That girl. Hmm. Girl, bye. Miriam has some very funny vibes, guys. If you have been watching The Real Outsides of Lagos from season one and now season two and now episode four, you guys can tell the kind of person Miriam is, right? Like, she has some very funny character. I don't want to say anything right now. All right. So she came. And then... Ea Bojo and Chema, they were inside the room together, you know, trying to catch up. They were so happy to see each other. Then Ea Bojo got a call with Dr. Romel, inviting Dr. Romel to come for the staycation the next day. Dr. Romel was so happy. He was really excited. I, I wish he was around, you know, this very day where, you know, the ladies were coming in. But then it's going to come the next day. So we expect to see Dr. Romel in episode 5. You don't want to miss episode 5, right? Okay, so after that, we now saw the part where... It was now in the evening um yeah but decided to like prepare everywhere for them there was champagne there was food oh jay is basically celebrating at 25 years on stage as an actress basically so she played one of her movies for them to watch so it was really interesting seeing the ladies dressed in their outfits even though i feel like tiana did not really get the memo but it's okay it's, not, it's all right we can actually allow that she's a mother of i think three kids yeah, but just with a mother. Anyways, we understand. It's fine. It's okay. Tanya's our baby. We love her so much. So let's go to the real deal. Hmm? Before they played the movie, they had to ask, where is Laura? Choma was like, ah, but she invited Laura. She doesn't know why she, Laura is not here yet. So when, when she was trying to call Laura, Laura's phone was unreachable. So um, they had to ask Faith. Faith is Laura's friend. Miriam had to ask Faith, where is Laura? and she couldn't really have anything to say so during her confessional she's like laura has been expecting her husband and she wants to see her husband and her husband is finally around so right now she's probably having some good time with her husband that was what she said during her confessionals right so and laura could not put the call through to chema telling chema that i'm not going to be available for the about this event so he just said no problem like he didn't even say that okay i'm not going to be around or something like I feel like that was not nice of Laura. I feel like that was uncool of Laura to do to, you know, um, to Yabo just events. You know, it's it's not nice. It's not nice. It just gives Yabo just more reason not to even invite Laura to any of our events in future. So I don't think it's cool. I don't even think Yabo just wants to go for Laura's events either. 
Anyways, sha 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 sha. Why they were um asking um Faith, where is Laura? Miriam started to take up the matter. Miriam switched the matter already, taking the matter up, you know, carried it on her head like bah, getting angry with Faith for not knowing where Laura is. She's not saying that Laura doesn't um Faith doesn't take Laura serious, Faith doesn't take Laura as a friend. Faith is this, Faith is that. Before you know it, the matter escalated, they started exchanging words. You know, I don't want to call anybody names. I don't want to use the same names they use. But you guys know what happens when a woman and a woman is having bad schools. It's just for them to just tear that pata. That's what is remaining. That is what is remaining. But it was really intense. And I feel like I love the fact that Faith kept her cool. She just sat down. She didn't say any. She didn't actually try to stand up to say she wants to teach Miriam some lessons. Even though Miriam came to meet her. But Miriam did not touch her. Miriam did not have the, the audacity to touch her. That's something about Miriam. I feel like Miriam is one person that tries to want to show that she can she can drag you, but she doesn't really have what it takes. She's just a jackpot law. They will finish her. That's what I feel like. And I feel like if Miriam and Faith should go in that kind of battle, I feel like I feel like Faith is going to finish Miriam. Faith is definitely going to finish. If Faith and Miriam go on that kind of battle, Faith is definitely going to finish Miriam. But Faith was chill. Faith was just, you know, classic, luxurious lady, sophisticated lady, just giving her punchline, punchline, punchline. And I noticed that Tara, on the other hand, that happens to Miriam's friend, friend, did not really support Miriam like that. Even during her confession, she was just laughing, making jests or making mockery of Miriam and everything. Anyways, um, Yabodjo wasn't happy that they were having that kind of drama during her own event. She just wanted to play a movie for them, you know, celebrate with them, rejoice and be happy. At the end of the day, they played the movie and they were all happy to watch Yabojo's movie. And after that, they had some very beautiful session. Then Yabojo was not trying to address the whole matter. I went back to the matter that happened between Miriam and Faith. So, um, at first, Yabojo was actually coming clean. Like, she just wants to address the matter. Like, she does not want to offend anybody. You know, she was trying to, you know, not be biased. Like, you two, were, you were wrong, you were wrong, you were wrong. Like, this person was wrong, this person was wrong. So um, the matter that switched from yeah, but you're trying to sip, trying to like um settle the matter between Miriam and Faith to so, Yabojo yeah, and Faith now having bad boots because Faith used a line of you people, you people kept on saying that I should call her, I should call her, I should call her. The day we had. Chema's event. You guys kept on saying I should call her. And I told you guys I don't have a Nigerian number yet. I only have a US number. That you people kept on saying I should call her, I should call her. So when Iabojo heard Faith said you people, that got Iabojo angry. And I feel like she's saying you people shouldn't actually get Iabojo angry. But I guess we are all different and we react differently to things. So maybe that's why that actually got to Iabojo. That, that Iabojo finding really disrespectful for um, Faith to use the word you people, you know. But she wasn't addressing just Yabo, she was, like, she was addressing everybody. So I feel like Yabo also needs to calm down. And we all know Yabo. Yabo was so angry. She stood up. She wanted to actually, you know, move towards. She actually moved towards Faith, but she didn't touch her anyways. Hey, she is a very, very funny word to you, but she turned. She switched to Yabo. Shakpa, Shakpa. Mamushi. I don't know where Yabo is from, but she's a typical Yabo woman. And I think. If you know Yabo Joy, you watch her movies very, very well, you know that. You don't want to play with her. You don't want to play with her. You don't want to play with her. Like, she gets so cool. You got to run when you see Yabo Joy. She gets so cool. Anyways, that was where they end this particular episode. Many more are to come. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, turn on post notifications, and tell me something great at the comment section. I love you guys.